Today I'm going to look at Batman Batmobile Corgi. And this is pretty nice. I This is the one and only one that I have. And these sold in 2004 for about $8 each, which they made a lot of different ones. And um, you can see it says Corgi. And I bought this just recently from a place called, it says here, All Around Retro for $20, 2004. And I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but they make other vehicles as well, as you can see. And I'm going to open this up. I got the 1980s Batmobile BMB VN, VM1, V1, BMB V1. So let's open this and take a look at it. Here is the Corgi Batman Batmobile out of the box, and I'm glad I removed it from the box because they had rubber bands wrapped around the vehicle, which had, you know, it's over 20 years old, it had all dry rotted, and tie wraps around the wheels, and it's, it's actually a really nice vehicle. Uh, it's got the Batman, it's... Corgi. It's got the copyright on it. It's like engraved right on the vehicle. That's really nice. It says 1980, but the box says 2004 on it. And um, see, it says 2004. They made a lot of different Corgi vehicles. A lot more than eight. I think they started 2004, 2005, 2006. And I mean, some are better than others, I guess, but like, I wouldn't want that. I might get that one. The plane, eh, that's all right. And these are okay. But um, I, don't, I don't know how collectible these are or desirable, but um, I think, you know, it's an either all or nothing. You either collect them all, leave them in the box. And I'm not that kind of person where I collect them all and leave them in the box. And then you don't get to play with them. It's not really a lot of fun. So this was an impulse buy. I happened to see it in the store in the mall. $20. That seemed like a pretty good deal to me. I mean, I, I, I looked online and that's about what they go for. Anywhere between $20 and $30. Some people, they... They're collectors, they collect every single vehicle they make. Um, I just like this one. Kind of reminds me of the Batmobile and the Super Friends. And um, let's get a closer look. That's kind of cool. Comes with Batman, no Robin, but and, uh, it rolls really nicely. Very quiet, listen to that. Oops. Oh, that's nice. Is there a, um, not much as far as an interior, like a dashboard or anything. I mean, it's got some gadgets on there. Now, the 66 Batmobile is everybody's favorite, let's face it. But this is a pretty decent vehicle. I kind of remember seeing these in Toys R Us for like $8 each. And at that time, I thought, wow, that's a lot of money for something that's a little bit bigger than a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox. But if you compare it to today, so if this was about $8 in 2004, and the Hot Wheels um, Batman vehicles that they make are about the same size, and they're about $10. So I guess that's a pretty fair comparison as far as price. And um, I think it's a pretty decent vehicle. I'm, I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole and buy them all. I mean, I might get one or two more if I happen to see them for the price I want to pay. Maybe I'll get them. But this is just a quick review on um, an impulse buy that I bought of the Batman Batmobile 1980s version. And I think it's, I think it's pretty cool.
I what I do is I keep them in the box after the after I open them only because I like the artwork so um, I don't throw the boxes away not that I'm gonna resell them I mean I buy stuff that I like and that's what I do and that's my review hope that helps do I recommend it absolutely do